Hey, ladies. See, the thing is, is, they gave me the spotlight so you can check out me this entire episode. So welcome to the preface, the, uh, the, um, uh, the, the preface. So let's the fun begin. You actually see a bit of a clearing into a large field of red flowers. <gasps> Accursed creatures <laughs> playing tries with our tricks. How else are we supposed to eat food anymore? I make a sign. Death fairies. And then I'll put like a little drawing of an angry fairy on it. I'm just like, <laughs> And it's... Oh, God, well, I've it never takes... heard such a ferocious bear. It's not that ferocious. I've never heard such an adorable bear. This bear is happy and he is eating fish. Fine. You made Steve angry. Yeah, Steve looks angry. Um, why is he Steve? Go away. I don't want to kill you. I like spiders. Now go away. Spider. 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 Five spiders. Spiders? There is an absolutely massive spider. Hey guys, I found a spider boss in the forest. I recommend going with a raid party. All right, everybody. So, uh, welcome back to another episode of Sword Art Online with our special guest. Tall Walker. There we go. The tall walker. The tall walker. I walk. He's a tall walking man. Um, Six eight if you had any questions. You know that, ladies? Big feet. That's what that means. <laughs> yeah, big socks. Big socks. A lot of big shoes. Mm, exciting. Synapsis, where'd we leave off? Who wants to get? Who wants to do it? Go ahead, the tall walker. Oh, dear lord. Special guest. All right, so I took uh, the newbies out for some combat training. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Everyone. I, I, yeah, I think too. they all leveled up. I took it out for combat training. Uh, we found the spider's nest of whores. Uh, and almost did something stupid and set it off. But yeah. I stopped you. So we found out there's a giant spider inside of like a nest, as well as several other medium sized spiders and spawn. So we called in reinforcements, aka the raid. And yeah, we're on our way back to town. I leveled up everybody to five. We're going to stock up, make a game plan, and go and bleat the world. Complete the world. Oh, complete the floor. The sorry. whole world. The complete the floor. This yes. boss. It's this, the final this, level this right here. Secretly holds together the entirety of SAO. Once we kill it, it just unravels and we're all free. Um, um, I don't think that's how it works. Plain I'm, and simple. I'm pretty sure that's how He's it works. found the loophole. I have found the single the most quest important is over. loophole in the game. This 10 year campaign um, is going to be over in 25 minutes. There you go. I don't think so. Yes. All right. So, you all did successfully manage to make it back to town. Um, the lieutenant and Clyde are coming back a little later than everyone else because they stayed out an extra two days so that they may explore and go hunting and get Clyde a little bit more experience seeing as he finally was leveled. slacking a little. He was slacking. I taught him how to be a little bit of a man. A little bit more of a man. Seeing as Wilson already had his training with Tiffany. Only fair that Clyde got his training. You're all back in town. I assume you meet up in the tavern and most all of your parties are already there. And M, let me tell you, there are a bunch of new faces, and Franny is looking over. Oh dear, what am I going to do? There's so many people around here right now. I have never had so many orders going through. I, I, I do all the cooking just myself. The big guy over there with the giant table says, Bulk gave me enough doing for all the morning, and then there are these 20 other some folks. And this is the chaotic scene you walk into. All of the tables and chairs are full with various people, some of which you, you recognize, um, the lieutenant, and some of which you recognize. Do I see that Clyde leveled up? As he's coming back with the lieutenant, you notice that he's he's been a little bit more fit than usual. Oh, I go over and I give him a hug, and I'm like, "You're you're growing up. I'm so proud of you." And these are like tears, joy, joyous tears. He kind of gives you like a little. Oh, I've been touched. <laughs> <laughs> my character will literally roll his eyes, like I'm gonna go say hello to my guildmates. Oh, and my. I will make the rounds. And then he then Clyde also goes to embrace you, and he's like, "Yes, yes, make it last." I've uh, been gone for so long. You've been gone for like five minutes. Mm. I let go. And he he tries to hold you in. I, I'm just like, okay, um, bye. This yes. is a little little too long. Oh, okay. This is like uh, hugs. I'm not used to um. This getting is them. beyond it's, greetings. It's, um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're we're all good. And okay. and he, but yeah, no, I'm a level five now, samurai. Oh, see, I I I took a level in bard. I'm an arcane. I am a fighter four and arcane duelist. Ooh. That mean you sing songs? I sing songs. I also am able to dance because you know I had drugs earlier, but that's okay. You do you. Your lifestyle. I mean, I know bards like to live lavishly. We dance together. I and mean, do drugs apparently. and do drugs apparently. Okay, you know what, darling, love, sweetie, sweet. Where's cheeks. everyone else? I'm. 
going the rounds saying hello to my fellow right, guildmates. So going... I am inspiring courage to those who have come to join the fight. Inspiring courage. You get a lot of warm welcomes. A lot of a lot of people that um. I can do it without class feet. <laughs> a lot of people are wearing emblems and insignias that you recognize from guilds that you are associated with, both of yours and other various guilds. You recognize the Mercy Guild, obviously, but you also recognize. And there are a couple of people you didn't expect to be here. And you see the emblem for a guild called Unity. Oh. And you recognize that they are a guild which specializes on in horseback riding and exploration, and that they are based off in the north. Oh, so odds are my friends are here. Odds are your friends are here. All right. So just keep keep on looking. I will look um, around. Pace through, um, and you get through. There are this is about two dozen individuals in this tavern right now. It is packed. So you see... Um, you're seeing people who are paladins in giant armor, clerics with their holy symbols, but eventually you do hear an, oh, well, look at that. I haven't seen that face in ages. Bring it here, Lieutenant. Well, and, hi, Taryn. And as she tries to hug me, I'll just like hold my arm out. No hugs. What? Why not? Oh, come on. I ha it's been, it's been what, two, three years? You can't give me a little sugar. Uh, I'll give you a, a little, fine, I'll give you a hug, but no shit. Uh, mm, all right, bring it in. And she, she gives you an embrace. Ooh. Uh, no. You have a wife at home? I have a wife at home. I know. She's a Marine. We serve together. You won't hug her? I go over, I give her a hug. I'm like, I'll give it to you. Oh, bring it in, sugar, don't you worry. Oh and my she gosh, she's she, like Dolly Parton. Oh. And she. You have no idea. <laughs> Whatever you do. Don't get her drunk and ask her to sing. <laughs> mm, I can give you a bit of a country ballad if you know what I mean. Oh no. Um, and you look and you see, it seems like her skin is like brown, but not in the usual sense. It seems like a rocky, dusty brown. And she has short, chopped hair. On one side, like she was burned. No, no. Really? Oh. No, just like oh. she's she, she's a Terran. An O-Reed. An Earth, a, half, a human who is part Earth Elemental. So she's, I'm Air Elemental and human, and she's Earth Elemental. Uh, Air Force Marine. Uh, Get it? There you go. Uh, oh, wait, Marine. No, Marines are, Marines are still. No, Navy's good. water. Marine's yeah. just the best. Arguably. Argu Look at that okay. smirk on the, your the, face. Okay, so they're like a non-special, arguably like a non-specialized group. <laughs> So like there's there are the jarheads, but they're probably the best infantry. Exactly, you've got the best infantry out of those jarheads. Oh my as gosh! You put it. All right. Anyway, air, air air supports better. Um. So yes, yeah, she's she's a marine. She um she, well in the real life, love I, I actually go around and I'm I'm the person who mans all the tanks. But in this world, we don't unfortunately have tanks. But I did pick up something that I have turned into a tank, and that is my majestic stallion, who is outside or currently in the stables. Wait, so you're a cavalier? Oh yeah, of course. That's I'm part of I'm She's part of unity. Part of the cavalry, or part of the cavalry. Wilson. Uh yeah. She's a cavalier. And he looks at her. And for gears, you've anything never like my... seen him ogle anything quite this much. Wow. You... Roll a will save. Ogle her? her like you ogle. She needs Clyde. to roll a will save. Oh yeah, he's one of my boys. Oh no, my boys. Oh. You feel a little jealous it's right now. It's a seven total. You get a little jealous, like he's never looked at me like that. Oh, excuse me then. I pointed out a woman, and he looks. He's looking at her. Excuse me. It's your fault. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have pointed out the woman then. Um. So then Clyde rushes over, and these two have um a quick Clyde. You're not Clyde. Um, Wilson runs over. And they have a quick, and they, they have this exchange of they're talking about cartography and map making and horse tending and cavalry formations and charging tactics. And this goes on for like a solid five minutes. They've, they've, they've just gone into their own little world and they don't even acknowledge your existence anymore, Em. I don't know what to do with this situation. I just kind of, I look at it and I walk away. And she actually starts to, um, she's reminiscing with you, but she's also introducing Wilson to some of the other members of Unity, which is the Cavalry Guild, um, and it's like he's getting really chummy with them. I go back over. So, uh, what's going on over here? Oh, well, we're actually having, like, a lot of fun. We're talking about, we're sharing, like, our horses' names and what tricks they know and, like, stories about, like, cavalry things. 
Mm, romantic. Okay. And they're telling me all about the, this this northern town that we we actually haven't explored yet, and I think it would be pretty cool if we could go up there maybe sometime because then it would help fill out the map more. Okay. Well, we can consider doing that. You know. After we do the raid well, well, and everything yeah, else. Yeah, we kind of have a raid to figure out first, which I should probably call this raid to order at some point. I mean, you're the one who technically... Yeah, I technically call it, and I'm the LT of the guild, right, so, so, so I, will, I will go up to, to, like, the front of the tavern area okay. and kind of get up on a table or a, a guild, or if the tavern lady won't yell at me, I will get up on top of one of the tables. Okay. And kind of... All right, everybody come to order! Everyone kind of... did. A couple of people keep talking, and then like a couple. All of right, here attention, smacked, everyone, smacked. to order. Yeah, and then like basically a couple of people get smacked over the head, and, and some people point at you and everything. All right, first off, everybody, thank you for coming. We are here because we have the potential of a raid boss. We don't know whether it is just a random encounter boss, a world boss, the four boss. We have no idea. Here's what we do know: it's a giant spider. Uh, I pull up the my map as well as screenshots I took and general locations of everything. Uh, uh, here's a spider, uh, very, very large in the center of a giant nest. Uh, we're gonna have to fight our way to the nest. So in order to fight the way to the nest, we have discovered that there are medium sized spiders guarding these nests. They are triggered and will attack if you hit any one of their webs. So we're gonna have to go through and clear these webs, um, preferably with fire. So we'll have to get some fire mages in front. Cavalier will go through after the webs are cleared and hopefully punch a hole through. Everyone else follows. Once we get in, I wasn't able to see much of the actual area, so it'll kind of be a surprise once we get in there. Uh, as for formations, we'll be divvying up party leaders and healers for everybody based on what we have, and our plan is to ride out in about two days' time. Anybody have any questions? Um, yeah. So... And you realize that Selena's raising her hand. Okay, so I'll try talking to uh, no, what, normally what you it, don't try to talk to a giant spider boss. But, but, um, what, what if it was friendly and it was just wanting our help? And everyone kind of, like, you hear a couple of people mumbling and a couple of other individuals laughing, like, she's an image. You just killed these things. Yeah. Sweetheart, that's not how this works. It's not. But, I mean, did anyone try? Do we have a druid in this group? She really. And that's the only reason why she's saying this, just so you know. No, we didn't try. You're welcome to once we get there, but I can guarantee you it's probably not going to work. I mean, shoot first, ask questions later. Can't I really partial to that? Like, can you do you mind if maybe we tried? I have a plan. If you really want to do it that way, what we could do is we could fly you above the what's about the opening, right? Mm -hmm. Fly you above the opening, lower you with a rope, hang you in there, and see what happens. That's basically dangling her like <laughs> a bait over a chum of sharks. Exactly. I would say no to that, and we're going to go with the original plan. If you get there and you want to find a spider and you can try to talk to it, sure. Go join the scouting party. But it's probably not going to work. I thought my plan was good. She wants to talk to it? There you go. Well then, I mean, you're the leader. Who's part of the scouting party? Um, yeah. And a couple of people raise their hands. They're like, well, I mean, we're designated scouts. All right. It's the Ranger Society. I will talk to all of the party leaders individually. Scouts are with me first. Let's go yep. figure that out. Okay. So, I, All um, of you who are like scouts or like to join the scouting party. This is actually technically your mission, even though he's kind of taking charge. All of you who are part of the scoutings, follow me outside. The rest of you, continue to mingle among yourselves and form parties. Uh, make sure you have at least one tank and one healer per party. Okay, there are uh, three individuals who look like rangers and rogues, but all look like wood. Um, head out with you. Um, but Selena also does come out. Okay. Um, who would be the highest level, most experienced person here other than me? In this, They're all level five. All level five. All the scouts are level five and Selena's a level five cleric. Hmm. Alright, so I'll give them all the information I have of screenshots, everything I found, the general area. I'll share my map with them. I'll tell them basically we want to find good points of entry. Uh, try not to let them know you're coming. Uh, if you can take a couple out, sure. Like she said, if she wants to try and talk to them, you can try to do that. But stealth is going through our major key and we're trying to find points. 
Probably, that sounds pretty doable. We'll probably head out a couple of days. We'll probably head out by tomorrow to get our formation plan at the point of attack. Pretty good. And you'll probably end up <coughs> staying in the field, so make sure you bring everything with you because we'll meet you guys in the field. Of course. All right, yeah. We'll just send you a message once we've relayed some information, take right. some images, and send you coordinates. Four of you form a party. Um, you can be um, in charge. I mean, what about the lady that hired us? I'm inside still. Yeah, I thought she was inside. She is. I okay. mean, yeah, I was wondering if she wanted to, like, he hired us. She points to you two, her and yourself. Yeah, she hired... You seem to kind of be taking charge. Well, she hired me to keep you guys alive, and, and uh, she doesn't have much experience. You can go ask her, but I'm... Okay, well, I'm just going to get her opinion. And so she runs in, she, she like, doots inside. And she's like, hey, Miss Lady that hired us. Hi, Selena. What's, what's, your, what's your name? At Snow. Oh, hey, Snow. Okay, um, so I was wondering, like, um, the lieutenant kind of seems to be doing everything around here. Um, <laughs> it's I mean, his job. He's what he's used to. He's a lieutenant. <laughs> I, I know this. <laughs> She's just saying. I was just wondering, like, um, didn't I overheard something earlier saying that you were a bard? Wouldn't you try, wouldn't you like to do, like, an embassy diplomatic approach Seduction? to the... Before Do you the... want me to seduce the spider? No, I th- I'm just thinking, what if they're friendly and they just want to cuddle? I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a pacifist. I don't kill things. I mean, well, actually, my abilities focus on intimidates. <laughs> I have literally an ability that's called Rallying Cry in that I roll an intimidate and... Um, it only works for like saves and uh, fear effects and I focused on putting my points into intimidate. I didn't even take charm person. But we don't have to charm. I have a moment of greatness. But don't, don't you have diplomacy? I have one point in diplomacy. Don't you have sense motive? I have, yes, I do. I do have that. Oh, what? Couldn't we try talking to them to like see if they're nice people before we go slaughtering the they're innocent? They're not people. Shouldn't we go and see if they're nice, cute, little, furry, okay. fuzzy animals before we go and kill them all? Uh, should I roll a will save since she keeps bothering me about it? Because I'm pretty weak-hearted when it comes to people annoying me. Sure, go for it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's a crit fail. Okay. I, uh, like, okay, fine, I'll go with you. I'll do whatever you want, just stop asking me. Yay! Okay, so, okay, you'll join the scouting party, so we'll be a little group of five. Unless you wanted to bring, unless you wanted to, like, substitute people, I'm sure the lieutenant wouldn't mind. But Who, who's in the party right now? Who we we have? just have three scouts that were from the Ranger Society. They were sent in. You mean the NPC Ranger Society? No. Oh. Human player individuals who joined the Ranger Society. Bad and boring. Like <sighs> I said, I'm sure if you wanted to bring other individuals with you on the scouting party, they I wouldn't poke mind. poke my head. Wait, no. I look around. I look to see where Clyde is and where Wilson is. Clyde and Wilson are actually both talking with Unity. Oh my god, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> both of your boys are being kidnapped by this no, other- No, I go over and I grab them by the by the scruffs of their claws. I'm like, you're coming with me, I need you. Uh, why? But we were just talking, but- uh, Stop didn't like, But there's another the lady. But I wasn't flirting. Stop I don't flirting just... with the pretty lady. Come on, we got we got business. And 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 the, the as you called her, pretty lady walks up. She's like, what well, seems to be the problem here? Oh god, dang it. I mean, we were just having a quaint little conversation, and they actually it said that they wanted to join some of my other cavaliers in a formation. <laughs> At this point, I'll walk back inside. Where is my healer for my scouts? What? what? I'm, I'm here. What do you need? Have you decided what you're doing yet? I mean, I, I grabbed her, and she's grabbing other people, and she said she might be making substitutions. The substitutions and exchanges or refunds. All right, Selena, you heard Snow. Well, I mean, she said she's coming. Oh, no, they're coming with me. Wait, you are going with them? I'll go with them. We're trying to keep a small scouting party. No, you're losing some of your rangers, man. I'm throwing them out there. I refuse to let Unity take my men. But you guys aren't scouting your stealthy. Shh. This is not I fa- solid I tactics. Failed my cri- I, I failed my will save. I'm aware, but it's not <laughs> solid tactics. I am not a tactical person. Do you want to die? We're not going to die. You don't know that. We're not going to die. Right, Wilson? Right, Clyde? Uh, we might die. Uh, I... (laughs) (laughs) She's honest. Uh, I mean, the pretty lady, I mean, the, um, the other leader of Unity over there, she happened to say, um, that there is a nice cavalry formation that has been lacking, um, samurais who are good at ranged combat, so I'm scared of 
some of them. For what and when? Um, yeah. well, you know, right. yeah, I um, I was paired with uh, Molly, Suzette, and Valentine. There's a lot of female names in there. <laughs> there I say that. I say there's a lot of female names well, in there. You know, have you even met just, Molly, uh, Suzette? And... I have not had the pleasure yet, oh, but yeah. I'm sure. I've that... actually met them. They're nice girls. Well, only two of them are girls. One of them's a guy. And then we are going to be picking up another cleric. Mm. Actually, I think Valentine's the cleric now that I think about it. <laughs> but yeah, we were going to form a party of four. Uh, we might bring a paladin along with us as long as he has a mount because we're trying to stay very nimble. I'm trying to figure out what my character is. Like where I would even go. I'm like, I'm a bard now. I'm also a fighter still. Oh my gosh, well, you could come with us. I'm going to thank oh. God now. Are you soft at seeing scouts, or am I just sending my boys out? Just send your boys out. I'll sit here in a corner. Hey, but we have the diplomacy mission. All right, Serena. And then the Crystal, and then Crystal runs up, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, no, 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 no! You don't understand. Selena is a bundle of fun, and she's a really good talker. You should really consider giving her a chance on a diplomacy route." I uh. I'm a master of disguise, Lieutenant. Trust me, if I was part of the scouting party, the spiders would never know I'm there until I am suckling from the venomous fangs of their mother. I need a volunteer cleric to go with the scouts. I turn around, as I turn around and say that. But, so, so you want raise your hands? I'm a cleric. I, I know, but the diplomacy is probably not gonna work, I'm sorry. But I'm still a healer. So even if it doesn't, I, I can still heal. Okay, well, apparently Snow says she's not going with you guys, so are you ready to leave? And then both Selena and Crystal run up to you, Em, and they are giving you the puppy dog eyes, and they are begging. Roll a will save. And I'm looking very, very pissed off at this point. Oh, <laughs> that was a, <laughs> such a good roll, and then, and then it turned into a three. Okay, yeah, continue. Hey, Stuck going with the females. Girls, man. Girls, stay, yeah. Yes, they both crystalline. Not well. another one. No, please, God, no, no, no. No more girls' days out. Just leave me be. Oh, I said that. It, well, it, at, I? The, at the end of the day, it is up to you, the player, but this is what the NPCs are suggesting. Oh, and Selena runs up to you and she's like, Well, Lieutenant, I mean, if you're really that concerned about us staying alive, you could always watch us. But I was planning. To stay here and coordinate the raid. Are you are you saying that you don't think um, Karen could handle it? And you can she, message her. I mean, she's more than capable, but I've no one has been there, and I'm pretty sure the rest of them, including myself, want to arm ourselves before we leave. I mean, we wouldn't leave until the scouting party wouldn't leave until tomorrow morning, anyways. I'm trying to get them to leave as possible as soon as possible i mean but everyone just came back from a really long journey and everyone needs a rest anyways and you I'll... hired me so technically it's your call i just took over the raid leader. so there are two tiny little girls like well technically lip out eyes big tears streaming well begging actually them. to be honest um our contract's over because we're back and you still haven't paid me <laughs> this is what a hundred gold plus everything i bought for your party a hundred gold per day. You were gone for about Four. five days in total. Five hundred gold plus you spent like a thousand gold on your items and Didn't everything. Didn't we have like a deal or something? Yeah, when everything was said and done, I get the items back. This wasn't said and done though, because we, this is something we added on. Yeah, I bought them for you and gave them to you, but they're still my items. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the whole shabacle. She's saying she was she. I think she's saying that she wants to renew your contract so that you are still technically hired to protect her for this mission too. Oh, you don't want me? Or do you want me to protect? Her? You're saying but those are not the words I use at all. So what? Points to Selena. I, I, will, I will take Selena and say hush, or I'm casting a spell on you. And I'll look at you. What do you want to do? You hired me still. Oh, I hate children. <laughs> oh dear God, I hate children. Like, I'm sitting. There, I'm standing there like in a military like ready pose. Like give me an order. I honestly don't know what's going on anymore. My character is so lost. I don't do well in these pressured situations. So either you're choosing to let me lead the raid and figure it out, or you want to go with the scouting party, and I'm letting the other NPC lead. I just, I just, the words and things and stuff. Those are a thing I have. Tactful. Tactful language. Do, you, do we need to roll a die to say, see what you do? I have no idea what I would do. What do you mean? Either he's 
Either he's with you in the party, or he's not with you in the party and is coming later. Or you're staying here with me, you're letting the scouts go, they're doing their scout job, and we're going with the main force. We're going with the main force, that's okay. fine. Me and her are going. You wanted me to go, didn't you, GM? Okay. Inter you wanted me to go Interesting things. Ahead. It's good to see what's going to happen. I get to roll for it. So anyways, um, so yes, Crystal's going, by the way. Um, she's going with a scouting party, so you're basically Crystal, Selena, and your three scouts are heading out effective immediately. As per the plans, um, they're heading out in the cover of darkness. Lovely. Um, and they're making their way to scout out and send you back information. And they say that you should be able to hear from them because they've got um some of the territories discovered. Um, you're gonna be two days behind them, but by the time you're about two days out, you will have all of the information that they've scouted. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm not going with those girls. Absolutely not. Not again. I can't do another day of girls. Yeah, I didn't want to send them out, but they're I can't stop them. I mean, I could stop them, but I'm not going to. It's They are technically adults, I think. One of them said they're 30. We're hoping. I mean, okay. So I will meet back up with Tara, and we will start okay. planning. Okay, cool. How um, she thinks the, the best setup would go. Obviously, she's going to be in front. Yeah. Most of the scouts are ranged, so they're going to be more so in the back line. Mm -hmm. um, the plan basically is is that the she wants the caval the cavaliers to all stick together because they have a lot of teamwork feats that work in unison really well. She wants her line to basically be in kind of like a V formation, her and her troops, and she's requesting that Wilson. I can't stop him, but I also don't like it. And I tell him that. I said, I can't stop you. I don't like it, but you can do what you want. Um, She needs to fill the gaps with basically, because she only has so many people here, she needs to fill the gaps with one paladin who has a mount um, and Galahand offered. Okay. Um, and then Wilson, that way you have six, so you can basically have a V, mm -hmm. three, and then you'll have a healer in the middle. And they're going to basically just kind of go in and so charge three five, horses. One in the middle, two on each side, and then a guy in the back healing. Yeah, basically. Okay. And that's going to push through and make a break in the enemy forces. And then you are going to have stations of a mixture of clerics, paladins, and rangers um, in groups of three pushing forward up the rear after them once an uh, initial wall is broken. I also want a flanking group. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a big flank group. I just want a group on standby to come in and do some behind damage once we get the main attention. And she says you could do something like having... Galahand, Wilson, and Clyde. So you have a nice mixture of melee, ranged, and heals. Basically come in and be a roaming three because they all are very competent on their mounts. Mm -hmm. Or what we could do is we could have it be normal and then take Em and the rest of her party and I'll join them. Em's party could be the strike force. That's up to her. Basically the two cavalry units sweep in initially, break the, the front lines of whatever the enemy is doing, and then just keep roaming around, mm -hmm. picking off little things as they kind of protect and kill stragglers as the main units go forward, which is parties of three or four, um, each one having a tank and a healer. Good damage. Generally. Yeah. Sounds about right. We need to figure out who our strike force is. Um, she, she said the strike force would basically be the initial caval cavalier units that break the wall. Oh, it's okay, just, yeah. they're, so they're breaking just the wall. In the circle. They're going to break the wall, but then they're going to double back and let the main forces go in. Mm. And they're just basically going to be picking off stragglers and constantly like sweeping in with charges okay. and ride bys. So like the big circle area, they're going to be just running around the outside and coming in. Basically. Okay, makes sense. And then I guess I'll be in the air shooting arrows and shot calling. Probably. Yeah. And, um... All right, doll. So uh, me and the lieutenant, we got together and we talked a little bit. And we were wondering what you wanted your little unit to be like. We normally have parties um, anywhere from three to five of units. Um, we like to diversify them so that we can have generally at least one tank, one healer, and then a couple of damage dealers mixed in there. Okay. So we were so just who do you want for your party? You were just what wondering who, who you'd want for your party. Now, I'm going to be with um, a bunch of the Strike Force Cavaliers. The lieutenant here, he's going to be kind of hovering up above, picking off some of the other things and shot calling, which means that you're going to have to find a party of uh, roughly three to uh, yeah, three to four other individuals. Unless you want to get a smaller party of EU and me, or well, we could all apply. I'd have to get, I'd have to get some scrolls back. Uh, we could have all the ranged units go up there with flies, because I know I heard that you rather competent with a bow so you, you could get you two using some archery if we could find a couple of other archers some of the scouts maybe um could fly end up flying up there with all you and you could just support some ranged fire i'm not a big fan of heights so why don't we do this why don't you form your own party you guys be our 
main force or part with, with the main force. I'll meet up with our scouts, cast fly down, and they'll follow me. All right, that sounds like a plan. Just gather your troops together then. Oh, who's in my? Who oh, left in my troops at all? I'm confused about who left. Didn't. Um. Well, we're gonna. Uh. I think we're gonna. I was talking to you outside of character. Oh. Um. Wilson and Clyde have been requested to help Unity because they're mounted combat users. So you lost Wilson, you lost Clyde, and you lost the other little girl. I also don't have Crystal. You don't have Crystal. She's part of the scouting raid. Where's Grog? Why didn't Grog go with me? Make a perception check. Grog's not here. I have nobody. Grog is in the corner. He is currently arm wrestling a bunch of paladins, and they have a keg open, and it she is... She snuck off. She snuck off in the middle of his arm wrestling tournament with a bunch of the big burly paladins. <laughs> Another one down. None of these puny mercy members can beat Grog the Mighty. Is it that rock? Crystal? Crystal? Uh, Crystal? Are you I message her. Crystal, you monster. You get a tee hee, hee hee, hee hee hee, tee hee hee hee. He's crying. I whispered in his ear. He'll probably be fine. <laughs> I asked. <laughs> Did you? Because he's. Clearly! Are you hiding in my shoe again? Where are, where are oh you? God, I don't know how to handle a grog without a crystal. Look, it's like a dog without its trainer. Uh, Clyde? I go find Clyde. Yeah, anything for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah what, what can I do for you? No, yeah, um, and he kind of turns his back to, um, a bunch of individuals whom he is talking to right now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so Crystal ran off without grog. I don't know what to do. I'm sure he's a competent male individual. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, go keep him company. Why do I? I've got go keep him cavalry company. division. I grab Why can't you keep him company? Because I don't want to keep him company. Well, why can't you get someone else? Because Clyde. Like Tiffany or Celia. Some of your other party members. Because Clyde, you're part of my party. But I've got to prep. Oh, you have to horse prep. related things. Yes, horror related things. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Mmm, ho strangers. Yeah. All right, what are you what are you trying to force him into doing it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you are, yeah. you are basically I would roll an intimidate check if I have to. Roll, please. Okay. The fourteen. Not bad, and you're bored. Eight. So yeah, it's um too. Um, so you're basically yelling at this poor lad. I didn't yell at him. I just glare him down. And you're glaring at him and like he knows why he's getting pushing glared at. and maneuvering him um towards Grog, uh, and you see Grog and he's like, oh, "Are you under my arm? Are you like?" Um, Do you see? Just... You see, Clyde. He's all he's all like confused. Uh, hey, big guy. Yeah, yeah what well, you want? I'm looking for Crystal right now. Uh, yeah, no, she um. She left? Yeah, I didn't want to tell him the news. You could tell. Well, what do you mean she left? Like, she left to go to the bathroom. She left to get changed. I will walk up to this man and be like, a girl went on a scouting mission. She'll be back later. Wait, 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 when's later? Like five Two minutes, days and two... you'll see her again. Until then, you have a lot of paladins and beards. What have you done? Kind of blinks. What have you done? And he's like, but, but who's going to press the button? We want the word. And he kind of like breaks down and he goes into big man tears. He, the, the man is <laughs> literally, literally just sat down hi, hi. like like me, like crisscross applesauce kind of like style. Hands on face, head down, crying big man tears. Hi, hi, do something. Make him food. I cannot comfort the acts of the male species. I am better with the ladies. Are you? You really not take charm person? No, I didn't. I didn't take tar charm person because I asked you, and I was like, "Should I take? What should I take?" And you're like, "Whatever you want." And then I said, "Moment of greatness." You're like, "Yeah, do that." And I also took feather fall because I don't like falling. I hate heights. <sighs> I don't need to charm people. I'm already charming as it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> and 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 then after a while, um, so what what are, what are you going to do right now, Em? I, I tuck out. I'm like, make him something good to eat, please. And and then as you're you you move over to Clyde, who's slightly curled little sort of grog, you just feel this force, and it just pulls you in. And you get absolutely no way to escaping. It's and a crying gro grog. And grog has pulled you and basically and grabbed you by the forest leg, and he pulled Why you in. Why me? 
friends, though. Oh, no, I don't have many friends, but at least you... I mean, besides the one time you abandoned me in the street and thought I could read. But, but other than that... <laughs> Me that. Other than that, you brought, you brought us all together, and I mean, it's been really wonderful, and I've really appreciated it, and I mean, well, while Crystal's gone, do you mind if I stick with you? And he's giving you these big crocodile tear puppy dog Ooh. eyes. Mm, I don't... emotions and things. I promise I'll calm down, I just need to know that I've got a friend. You have a friend in... Clyde joins in, you've got a friend in me. Get in here, Clyde. And then the entire p no, tavern no, erupts no. in the song in this song as everyone has watched Toy Story. At least. Oh my gosh. At least once. <laughs> oh my god. But what have you done? I just glare at you. I'm like, how could you? We're used to dealing with airmen and marines, not babies. He is an adult baby, thank you very much. I can see that. It's just, I'm, I'm got attachment issues, and I get my feelings hurt sometimes. And he, he blows his nose in your, um, in your shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna take a step back and be like, on that note, back to play. Yeah, no, I, just, I take my shirt off and I'm just like, I, I can't. What, what are you wearing underneath that shirt? I have no idea. What am I wearing underneath of that? Probably bra. Roll to see if you remembered to put undergarments on today. It's yeah, 19. you're fine. Yeah, you, have... you, you put your undergarments on. Yeah, so I take it out. I'm like, thanks. Here, but... can't just change clothes with the menu. Here, buddy. You can. <laughs> you can, you can just hold change that. clothes. With the menu. Thank you. And he blows his nose even I'm more just... into it. Clyde, you have an extra shirt. I don't have any extra clothes. Oh my goodness! I send you a set of clothing. Okay. You have a, a man's white t-shirt. It's an extra, extra large. Okay. Like a dress. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, I'm a large. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just came into like 400 gold recently. That's the most amount of money I've had in my lifetime so far. Oh. You're still on retainer. You know that, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Heard. Guess on the next floor, I'm going to have me a bunch of slaves. <laughs> uh-uh. Alright, so, I mean, we're sticking together right now. Yeah, and Clyde, you're gonna make him something really good to eat. I can work on the biggest roast mutton you have ever seen. Mm. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be delicious. Imagine an entire leg of lamb, but two times the normal size. I picked it up out at the store the other day, got some nice seasonings, some herbs, Did you go to the stuff. store? When, when all of you people sleep, I cook, okay? Thank you. God, oh, it's true. I've seen him cooking while I've been doing my tonight. Huh. Um, and he actually goes and um goes outside to start fire for food. All right, so Snow. So, um, okay, let me gain my composure. <sighs> All right, who else is joining us? Um, if Crystal's gone, we've got to get a little party together. It sounds. It sounds like everyone else is in groups. I have no idea. I'm trying to kidnap Clyde back because at least too many women, too many females, too much temptation gonna fall into it man i uh, mean do you really think he has any chances with them no but still so just... why are you worried are you jealous i'm always jealous i'm the jealous type oh, okay. <laughs> that's my secret i'm always jealous <laughs> all right well always i mean hungry too. <clears throat> always hungry who's not hungry I mean, we could ask if Tiffany and Celia would want to join us, but I mean, I was traveling with Crystal and Selena, and they were getting along together really well. I mean, once we, once the scouting's done, I'm sure they wouldn't mind joining us. And then that would be um what everyone was saying, where you had to have a big burly guy. I meet that requirement. That um, requirement. and then we have someone who does the little magics and heals. Um, and then um you can uh. <laughs> I think you could do some damage. I've seen you shoot things with your little wooden stick over there. I know. I actually have arcane strike now, so it gives me Ooh, bonus. That damage. sounds magic. -y too. You say I think we'd be fine. Yeah. No, you could always go and steal the the bramblewood bow from him. It's payback. Oh, you're right. Steal Clyde's bow. Oh, he'd be sad though. You're right. He might come back though. Valid points. Wait, do you tell me this in yes, character? Yes, I'm telling you that in character. Like, valid points. All right, I'm also gonna I'll go. Be back. I won't be here. I'm gonna go talk to Taryn. Okay. Uh, I've given her all the information. Uh, yep. I'm telling her she's raid leader. I'm gonna go join the scouts. 
Oh, so you're going to leave off early? You were always one who was trying to be one step ahead of the game. Always want to get the information firsthand and just do it. But man, always better to do it yourself than leave it up to someone else. I cannot. Well, you better hurry and leave then because, uh, I mean, you're going to have to catch up with them. Well, no, I was planning on letting them get ahead of me a little bit. All right, well, I guess, I mean, I got to train my new, my new second in command. Yeah, I, all right, well, I mean, to, to what? Who? Huh? Ooh. I got to pick someone to be my replacement. I mean, I suppose so, but I thought, uh, and, and she points over to Galahad, and he's like, ho, ho. Uh, well, yes, he will, be a, he will be a lieutenant too, but I need a replacement ranger. I mean, I do suppose. I don't think anyone was really up to snuff, though. That crystal girl, she was a character. God bless her heart. She had some bless energy. Bless her heart. She had some energy, that one. She showed like she had a lot of promise and growth in her. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Well, best of luck to you, and we'll see you in a couple of days, all right? See you. All right. I'll check in every six hours. Of course. I expect nothing less from you. Um, okay. All right, so he leaves. He's going on the scouting party. Um, and occasionally, uh, intermittently, I'll have you roll your survival checks. Cool. Um, to see how well you're doing on your scouting party and do your perception as well. And I'll give you some tidbits of information. But in the meantime, you've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what, what are you what are you up to right now, Em? What am I up to? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. I got five. I, just, uh, I go check on the progress of all the other stuff that I had, that, of that pelt that I had Tiffany and Celia working on. Well, hello there. I didn't expect to see you here today. Yeah, neither did I. I heard quite a commotion going on down there at the tavern. Is everything all right? Yeah, Wilson was kidnapped, so was Clyde. I got Clyde back, I think, but no, 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 in like a different way. What do you mean they were kidnapped? Do we need to come over there and help? Was there like a new quest, like side mission going on? Like gotta go we're rescue doing people? A, uh... We're raid bossing. Oh, fun. I actually saw that there was a message about that. Yes, we did see that there was a message about that, but we figured we aren't, well, at least I'm not. All that useful. I could hope I could maybe cast some divination spells and scry on the area if you will. That'd be it useful. I could go see and um see if there's any chatter and uh, with my spells I can keep in communication with everyone by them, just in case for some reason in the middle of combat you might not be able to open any, but of course you can always cast magic. That's true. Um on the other on the other hand, how's the uh, pelt going? Uh well I mean we uh, actually got a Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we might have overworked a little. When we get into a project, we get obsessed about it and then kind of overdo ourselves. But we um, added on a couple of extra additional. Uh, I mean, it's great quality item, but it might take us another day or two. What did you guys do to it? Well, you see, he wanted me, to, on top of everything else it did, be able to infuse it with a bit of armor for you. To give you a, a little bit of a natural bonus so that you, you could actually wear it on top of everything. And it would actually make you a little bit stronger as well. Dang. Also, did you want these? Did, you said you wanted a pelt? Or were you looking for the head only? No, we only need the head. Dang it. Okay. I was going to say, I have Dire Bear Pelt I could give you guys. See if I can get a head at some point. Yeah, no, the head's what's actually enabling us to do most of this. We do need a little bit of the pelt, but we've got enough pelt from our own adventures. We just weren't able to get the head because it's a rare drop from a rare encounter, which makes this amazing item, I might add. So you see right now, you're getting all of the works. Trust me, hon, you're gonna absolutely love this. So you see right now, we, it's gonna give you a plus four bonus to your constitution, but on top of that, give you a plus four bonus to your natural armor class, and can be worn on top of everything, including your armor. Oh man, that's sexy. Thank Indeed, you. isn't it? I know, I wish I had it for myself. I'm gonna, I'll see if I can get it. If you could, I'll repay you. All right. Okay, I'm but gonna... right now, this actually is going to probably be around about a thousand gold piece item. Mm-hmm. I already owe them so much money, and I owe other people money. I'm going into debt. Don't forget, I have a diary bear held. Oh, dang it. I didn't give it to you. I'm like, I'm going to keep that one and give the rest to you. I know. I need to go and figure this out. Okay. I need to know where Peleius lives. You, you don't know where Peleius lives. I know. Why do you need Peleius? I want his heads. I want the bear heads he has. Why do you think he hasn't told anyone where he lives? He doesn't like being pestered. Pelias, he was the NPC that um, is repeatedly stuck on a loop of a quest. I forgot to drink the stupid squiggly potion. You, you, I mean, we you, it, when I'll come back to you in a couple minutes. Okay. We, can, we can maybe do something. Yeah. What do you got, Em? What are you, anything else you want to do? You checked on your dire bear head? Um, they said it would take another day or two. Mm-hmm. Cooking. Um, so you see... um. I feel like a bunch of girls around that campfire waiting for that food. 
he has um, a fire spit set up, and on top of it, you see a slab of meat. And when I say a slab of meat, I mean like eight times larger than your head on a giant slab with a bone with a stick slammed right through it and just rotating over a fire. Well seasoned, and you see a bunch of little other tiny pieces of meat, and um, there are um, a couple of people surrounding the campfire with him. Oh, and you people? see, um, you hear laughter and talking oh and cur- cordial joy being spread around. Whatever. Uh, okay. As cooks are always popular, because who doesn't love food? Okay. Um, I guess I just, I don't know. I'll go back inside. Oh, um, and you do see that while he's tending to the food, um, his stuff is kind of laying a strewn on a nearby log. Oh, fascinating. Is the bow there? The bow is most certainly there. Okay, how, can resting I... on top of his pack with a quiver of arrows. Does it look similar to my bow? Um, it looks better than your bow. Hmm. I'm gonna swap out bows. It looks like it looks like your bow, but it's missing the vines that wrap. Your bow's missing the vines that kind of wrap around it. But they both are the same make of bow. They're both long bows, I believe. Yes. Like, do I swap out bows, or do I just get get a run? I mean, don't leave him with nothing, but definitely <laughs> steal the bow. <laughs> All right. You're the PC. Yeah. What do you do, Bard? Uh, no, I have, I have, I have standards. Do you? Yeah. I'll be passive aggressive. <laughs> so she's a basic female. I have standards. I have standards to uphold. Sure. I've never seen you uphold them. Uh, Last chance going once, going twice. I'll take the bow. Okay, so she swaps bows. I swap bow. Um, you take the bow. He doesn't even notice. You don't even need a real slight of hand check. He is completely enamored with the conversation he's having with roughly four other people as they're standing around the campfire. He's cooking. He's handing out samples and portions, and he's like, here, try some of this. Oh, I made the secret recipe. I dipped this in my secret sauce, put a little bit. Fi- Wait, I fire an arrow at his feet. Okay, roll for it. Or make sure you don't hit him. Uh, I just have to hit fire in the general direction. I don't have to hit him. Yeah, I know. I'm just making sure that you don't accidentally miss and hit him. I'm not going to. It's a... No, you're fine. Okay. Um, then he's going to roll a reflex save at minus, but he... So, enter. Um... Wait, why is he reflex if he didn't see me even take the bow? Something's going to grab you. No, he didn't see you take the bow, but when his something is shot and you hear a thunk, and... Oh, the... I quickly go back inside, though. Okay, you, you 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 dip and run. He is just like, why are those vines? Why are they grabbing? Wait, wait, wait. What, 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 that's what my bow does. Does someone else have my bow? Cheeky wizard man. Maybe he <laughs> sold two. <laughs> and then he goes back to cook. Good job. He doesn't even decide to check. Okay, that was me being petty. I was petty. Apparently. I was really petty. Okay, so um, you check in and um, Grog is back and he's a little bit more cheery and he's jauntily conversing with a couple of pal- paladins, including including Galahan. Okay. I will go over and I will... Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I know. I once wrestled a bear with just this one arm. I put him in a headlock and I repeatedly punched him in the face until he was unconscious. Oh, you wrestled a regular bear? Ha ha, grew right up and I grabbed a dire bear and I squeezed the life out of him until he tried to claw free and that's how I got these scars. And he shows his chest and he has two giant massive bear scars on his chest. Wasn't one of those from like when you got clawed in the chest? Yeah, from the dire bear. That's right. Oh, hi, Snow. Nice to see you around again. Okay. All right, well, I mean, did you manage to, uh, who'd you recruit? Get anyone? Oh, yeah, I didn't do anything with that. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I can all, uh, you can always message Crystal and uh, Selena and ask them if they'd like to join us once the scouting party's done. Or I'll send a message to Crystal. Okay. Oh, my gosh! I'm so glad to hear from you. I can't believe you messaged us. Why did you not... Do what that is, Crystal? Why did you not? Why did you not come with us in the first time? We had a really fun girls' day out the other time, and now you're not joining us. Uh... We could have talked about all the flowers we saw on the way, and all the butterflies, and the, the, Selena's For really good. For that exact reason. What, I know it would have been so much fun. You, you're not used to having fun. 
That's the issue. We need to get you and we're gonna have a girl's day. You're gonna be pampered. We're gonna go shopping and we're gonna go out and get manicures and facials. It's gonna be, and we're gonna get you some new nail polish and we're gonna get a complete makeover. It's gonna be great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thanks for messaging me, Snow. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> That's why. You message her this? No. Okay, what do you message her? That, that's it. I don't I don't respond. Oh, you just said hi, Crystal? No, I didn't say hi, Crystal. I said party up. Oh, you messaged her. Back. Yeah, that was party it. Up? Okay. That was it. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I don't think that would be a problem. Who else is with your party? Grog, B, you. It's gorgeous. Um, I mean, aren't we supposed to have healers? I thought I heard something about um uh Tarnia Karen saying something about that. Emails. This is insane. Uh, I mean, I'm with Selena, and Selena was really nice when she was with us. But also, Galahan's really good. He's a paladin. He'd be another good front line, and Grog gets along with him really well. I don't make you let people figure this out. So, I mean, is that a? She's saying she doesn't want to be with both of those girls. <gasps> so what she's saying is, wait, where's LT? Oh, he's gone. I'm gonna go join him. <laughs> That's up to her. She, Her character can do whatever she wants. My character is too overwhelmed to even do anything right now. She doesn't like making these big decisions. And also she does not like being... Like, it's okay well, your character is going to have to learn to tell people no. <laughs> I'll, I'll teach you how to do that. Real easy. Ready? Lieutenant N O. <laughs> no. Lieutenant was really good at getting what he wanted. He's like, this is going to happen. We're going to do this. Also, I kind of command respect and it just kind of happens. Yeah. This happens when you're, you're not assertive enough. This happens when you're the highest I level arcane Your characters, yeah, I know. Your character's gonna have to get over that or be drug around by Grog and Crystal. Or for the rest hire of the me to be your error, or you're not shy person. You're not shy person. I, I hired this military ex military ranger to basically follow around and tell people no for me. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, no, basically, the only people I have right now are Grog and Crystal. I'm trying to get Clyde back, but it's, I'm being petty about it. So are you messaging Crystal this? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, okay. Uh, that would be great. And then that would be four. So we could have, we could have one more. We, we would, we should probably get a healer. So, I mean, I could always bring Selena. Just bring Selena. Selena. Really? Just do it. We get two. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> I hate children. But I don't like making them sad. <laughs> <laughs> parent none, <laughs> none of them are air quote children they just act like it they're so childlike it's terrible the crystal's like 30 something see she is 30 something selena's in her late teens she's like your niece's age now or 30 something she acts like she i know oh my <laughs> gosh okay all right i'm gonna roll my survival checks <laughs> oh no yeah, roll your survival checks and make perception checks as well. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, plus, got it's survival. A plus 18. Yeah. So it's 26, uh, 24 for the survival. Okay. Uh, am I looking for perception? Perception. And just a 6. That's another plus for 18. So oh. there's two no, 24s. 24s. So two 24s. 224s. 224s. Okay. Um, so yeah, you manage to head on the right course and you're actually a little bit more perceptive. Um, when notating basically where certain branches of the uh, webbing are kind of closer mm -hmm. um, and not as dense because you can see that it's not a perfect sphere right um, it has um, jagged bits and certain pieces of it um, are connected basically uh, it, it, it connects on certain trees or mountains basically landmarks um, it does it you can also tell that there are um, a lot of tiny holes where you are where it is really further out but inside those holes there is webbing inside there as well or so we could just send fire through this and just burn out all the holes it didn't have that much firepower then i mean yeah i mean arguably you could do but yeah you'd have to get basically a bunch of fire related major and we don't know how deep the tunnel system goes are you talking like grog because this is grog one of the scouts he's talking to you oh it sounds like grog how does it sound like grog? it's for a second there dude. okay no grog, grog's not here gotcha big man big um okay so, yeah well i'm gonna party how many how many is it it's three of them three, three, three scouts and the cleric yeah which one what are they what are they are they all rogues or archers um one is a rogue and two are rangers 
All right. Um, they're all high proficiency in survival, perception, knowledge, geography, and stealth. Cool. All right. I'm going to tell them to keep scouting. I'm going to keep joining them, and I'll give them like a place to meet up after days. Yep. Or in the evening. We meet up every night. Yeah, you basically meet up every night, and whenever they find anything of interest, they'll basically send you a message, show you what they found. Yep, I'm gonna screenshots try. and markers. Yep. Speaking of markers, I'm cutting my handy dandy Christmas whiteboard. As we discussed, it's kind of like a three tier system yep. where the center is basically about 100 feet, cut like 300 feet. And then in the second tier, uh, is so the, the, the exact center is where the wall is, where it's roughly um, five foot thick, 30 foot tall. Um, and then once you get into the second tier, that's where it gets really dense and hard to traverse for anything that's a large creature. Right. Um, so again, if you wanted to get your cavalry units in there, you would have to hack and slash or burn through a lot of those webs. Have fireball. And then this third tier. I mean, my arrow was able to get through it, with, and burst through with all the wind. Yeah, your arrow was able to blow a lot of well, some of it out of the way. Some of those strands were really thick. Like I'm talking like hemp rope levels oh. of thick nice but spider webs nice um, spider silk armor busted if you found someone who could harvest this stuff busted this alone is loot levels of items of like natural crit on dire bear level related things like yep spider silk armor what? It's what is it? Isn't spider silk like a plus four with a maximum dex of five and like and it can a... and, it, and it adjust to if you shape shift? Yeah, yeah, it's it great. It's the best and... druid armor you can get. Yeah, it's that and ironwood. What do you mean? Also, and you can tell. Um, at Alina would tell, say, um, yeah, and this spider silk does have a lot of a, a couple of magical properties to it. Well, well, whatever you made out of it would probably I don't even know what that would do. We get a bunch of spider silk and boss. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess that's day one then. Um, yep. So basically, you were able to mark that out, and you can tell though that everything, while it is really spread out, seems to connect back to the center. Yeah, it's the center. It is literally spider silk. But yeah, um, towards more so to this, um, right around here, I guess northwest from the town. This seems to be the point where the first tier is kind of like the, this is the closest mm. the center right here in this little area i'm um, kind of on the the northwest of the town southeast of the actual webbing that's where <coughs> calvary's going in and that's where we they plan, planned on going in because that would be the quickest route to get to the center um and it would be the longest point from when the enemies would be able to know you're there okay. that's where i'm gonna be scouting that personally i don't trust other ones get it done and you get a message from taryn saying well, this web is really big and everything but do you think it might be smart to possibly attack from two locations at once sending, that's what out, I was thinking. sending out a little side force to distract that's a, what a number i was saying earlier well yeah the track force and everything and our cavaliers can maybe attack Somewhere over here, a little bit closer to the, more of the west of it. Well, we have and then we have two groups of cavaliers, correct? Hmm? We have two groups of cavaliers, correct? Uh, yeah. Why don't we have one group of the other? Okay. I mean, sure, splitting up is not a good idea. Yeah, she would basically say that um, if they split up, this would basically draw a lot of the spiders' attentions, and then they could just back up and run, um, and basically disengage the combat with those spiders without too much of an issue so, these, so then, these guys go in first as a distraction as a distraction once they get aggro these guys go in and they retreat and come back and join us yeah but okay. they would be delayed um for uh a hours. good yeah maybe maybe hours maybe not that bad it depends on how far away they want to send them okay. um because of course the further away and the longer it takes them to get there the longer it takes for all the other spiders to get there all so. right works for me then i'll be scouting out this area and i'll have my scout scout out here okay all right so Roll, uh, sir. I guess, yeah, another survival and perception check. Oh, that's a... That's like 18, so it's a 27 for my perception, and my survival is uh, 28, 38, or 28, 31. Um, so another thing you seem to notice um, as oh, you... Oh, we're in forest. Uh, another thing that you seem to notice as you're scouting around is that the spiders seem to be mostly nocturnal. I figured. Um... Though there are always 
um, small numbers going around during the daytime uh, when a lot of the spiders go out, it seems, at night. But one thing that could be said is while a lot of the spiders are more active at nighttime, they do go farther out than this web. So while this web is actually going to probably reach like maybe a good like 30 miles, the spiders themselves um, go out probably a good like 60 miles. Um, so most of the spiders that go further out are generally smaller ones. Yeah. Um, so you gotta have the scouts go out and big ones guard the nest. Uh, though uh, you have seen that a couple of um, like medium-sized, like almost human-sized spiders um, do go out um, with bunches. It's almost like they go out in themselves, tend to be a couple, maybe one larger spider and then a, a, a large swarm. Of I'll relay that back to our cavaliers and our other scouts. Oh, I mean, I'm, everything you're telling me, I'm relaying back. Yeah. Uh, and then Taryn. Well, there seem to be two options right here. If we could manage to distract during the night, it seems like their forces would be really spread at, spread thin, so yeah, we might have also, to deal. The ones that are in the nest are going to be more active. So we have a couple of choices it's Shocking them the day when they're in their sleep cycle. Like, oh we can maybe try and take them when they're sleeping, but... I think it's going to probably take us a while to get all the way through to the center of there, by that which time a lot of them will wake up. And also that means that everyone's going to be messed. If we attack them at night, some of them might be further out and might not be able to get back True. to us. True. However, we don't know how many out, how many are actually in the nest. Actually, how quick is our recall? If we Is it like a crystal? As soon as we break it, we go back? It's not instantaneous. It takes maybe like a second. It would be a standard action in combat, but you know you can't use it in combat. It'd be out of combat to use. So if I fly down there invisibly, as long as I don't get in combat, I'm fine. Yeah. Theoretically? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try that then. Okay. So I will wait until the next day cycle when I think they're asleep. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go fly up and go straight down. I'm gonna, I'll cast invisibility on myself. Uh, I'll detect invisibility, vanish, which gives me base. Huh. Um, I'll, and I will ready. What time you said? Day. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there mid afternoon. Yeah, kind of middle of the day. Uh, so I have invisibility on myself, yeah. vanish on myself, based on myself. What does vanish do? Uh, it just gives me a plus five on stealth. It's basically camouflage. I'm basically just stacking stuff. Um, so I'm invisible. My stealth roll is. All right. 20, 36 plus invisibility. Yeah. Uh, invisibility. All right, and I'm hasting something. And I'm flying straight down. Okay. Perception checks. Yep. And I'm making sure I'm not hitting webs. Yep. That was a terrible perception check. Forest. In the forest. That's still a terrible perception. What? You get a plus four though, right? Yeah. Perception check. So plus perception. So 13 plus four plus five. So 21. So you see that during the daytime there is a large number of spiders. Um, there's the one big spider. Mm -hmm. Um, and there are a bunch of little spiders around it and. Right on top of it. Wait, a little spider on top of the large one? Yeah. How okay. little are we talking here? Size of your thumbnail. Does it look appear to be anything special? Girl. Oh, oh, that's not terrible. What do you mean? Perception for that? Yeah, perception. And knowledge nature, please. Alright, so the perception check was a six plus four is thirty. Uh that's perception. Knowledge and nature. I don't Oh yeah, I do. There it is. I guess I do. I'm a ranger. Oh wow. Uh, eighteen plus eight, twenty-six or thirty. Okay. Yeah. Level tens are broken. Yeah. <laughs> so you, it seems like a really small version, big spider, which is a city. How far up am I until I get down and can see in there? How far? How much more webbing is above me if I funnel? Funnel. Funnel? Like, like, I, like, is it just like all just the revs and this is just straight up open? I can fly straight up out and not have to worry about getting hit by anything? Yeah, basically. So if I come down within range and just shoot the top part of a bow and fly back out, they're not going to chase me? I mean, so the center walls are only like 30 feet tall here. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get out of the initial funnel here, the second layer around here goes up like a good 100 to 200. Yeah, but if I fly straight up, how I got in, I won't hit me, right? Well, you find it unlikely that they would be able to hit you because of the distance plus the why well, i would lose invisibility from here but you would lose your invisibility so you could be seen so i'm basically losing an arrow and 
Like, it's flying towards them as I'm flying straight up. So... Well, actually, I can't see what happens. I might let it lose, and then it cast it on myself again immediately. Another third little slot, though. Ew. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna hit the one on top. You shoot oh, the little one? I'm shooting the little one on top. I mean... Okay. Um, I'm also putting a lot <laughs> see if I, See if I can kill this with just solo a boss. That'd be interesting. That would be forever. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to hit? Yep. What a hit. You're fine. Going to hit. How did you hear what? Hmm? Uh, my the hit is a 20. There was a little tiny spider the size of my thumbnail on top of the big giant spider. He's going and he's shooting it, dumping everything in. Arachne. <laughs> How could you kill that thing? I don't know who Arachne is. You're you're gonna you're gonna hurt Arachne. He's Arachne. I'm so sorry, Uta. I don't know that's in peace. Don't know what's going on, but my hit was a twenty. That's why you wanted me to go, isn't it? it yeah, hit. you hit real I... damage. <laughs> that's why you want me to go. Sure. You want me to talk to Arachne. I said there was. Oh, there is a little we can talk to. Oh well, let's get killed. <laughs> the little girl's not gonna be happy with me. Oh yeah, I need to roll to see how she's doing. Are you rolling how do all of my scouts are doing? Wait, so you're killing the mini spider? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. How is he able to see that? What? She's the size of the thumbnail. He rolled really high on his perception, really and he flew down into the funnel. So he's only like a good 60 feet away. So he's just sees a diminutive- You're killing the young princess! Probably. Um... How could you? I did nothing. I described a scene, and he took things as he did. 76 damage? An arrow... I mean, as soon as my arrow is lost, I cast reinvisibility on myself. An arrow is lobbed, and a giant pillar of wind is whistling as it, almost propelling the arrow, but also going at the same pace as the arrow. It's, it, it's incredible as the fire around. And it pierces through this tiny little spider and pins it to the top of the much larger spider. What did it obliterate it? It's the size of a thumbnail. The arrow is bigger than that. And you just. <laughs> and then a as the big spider starts you just started a up. combat that you can't get out no, just straight away run why would you do that and immediately you your scouting party you're not supposed to do anything and immediately i got greedy you he wanted the he wanted the airstrike <laughs> immediately you see jumping spiders launching across this 300 foot thing and immediately putting webbing over the entire top and then closing it. Nice. You As you nothing. leave, um, I need you to roll two reflex saves for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay, Take so the first one, the 13. The second one, 26. Okay. Um, Please tell me you're using the stats I gave her. How much experience do I get for killing that thing? That thing? <laughs> like, I need a bunch of D6s. Actually, no, I won't use D6s. I will use. Um... I'm surprised they were able to see where it came from that quickly. Um, well, you see, what happens, as I described, is the giant spider in the center that you shot, and then there's now an arrow lodged into it, opens it eye its eyes, blinked a couple of times, and then immediately looked directly at oh, you. Oh, I got three sight. Nice. And um, as it did, you can see it pulled up and its legs and there's webs attached to its legs and it drug a giant boulder that was nearby and it threw it at you. Oh, huh. Um, and basically as it was going, it, the, it let go of the web that was on its hands and there's now um, a giant boulder flying at you. And um, how well, big? Huh? How big is this boulder? The size of a person. This is like a... It's gonna hurt. Good seven by seven by seven spherical boulder. I mean, I can fly out of the way. It's, he's got to. He's got to throw this thing hundreds of feet. Oh, and he threw it all right. Um, and he did. Well, these are d twenties. Yeah, <laughs> it's really d twenties for his boulder damage. It's... 11, 22, 39. He does forty seven damage to you Ow. with his boulder. Um, luckily, as the boulder hits you and. Crushes basically on, obliterates and crush into you. Um, the web kind of like slings around, and you luckily, even though you were hit by this giant boulder and are gasping prayer, 
Yes, be fair, you are air. Yeah. I am air. You kind <laughs> of, you were able to maneuver yourself and roll out of the way as the web actually goes and almost hit you, grabbed you, and then you see the remnants of the web and the boulder crash back down. That was close. You got way too greedy. I got way too greedy that I got lucky. So I'm gone. Bye. Why did you decide to do that? Curiosity. I was wondering if it was controlling the big, if the, maybe the, that one was the queen, it was controlling the rest of them, they all came. Well, you, you killed something. I killed something, all right. And... You probably shouldn't have, because I think you, you activated stuff. You get a message from Selena. And well, it was that hers? And it literally, and Selena literally just said, what did you do? Sorry to combat, question mark. Airstrike. Oh, it's scouting. I now know what one of his abilities is. That's not scouting. Scouting does not activate combat. Do you know, I now know what its first ability does. <laughs> That's not true. But who did I just kill? If I killed the druid, I'm gonna be upset. Like my character, like my like. Oh no, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Selena messages you, <laughs> and she's like, "I don't know what you did, but whatever you did, all of the spiders weren't very happy. In fact, you started. Co- they started combat with some of us, and a bunch of, the- but most of them huh? ran back into the center. Huh? That was not what I thought it was. Oh well." You live and you learn. Oh. I should I should have been paying more attention. I could have stopped you. I wish I was. Was it named differently? What? Was it named differently? What was what named differently? Yeah, I would have seen what its name was. What? The little spider. Did you, it I'm, wasn't a PC because I would have seen it was a PC. I mean, it wasn't a PC. It was it was a creature hmm. that you killed. Very special hmm. creature. Apparently. A really special creature. Apparently. I know what this creature. Is. I'm Why so didn't sorry. you tell me? Because you were because she decided not to go on the scouting mission. Oh. I didn't go on the scouting mission. Apparently. Um, and basically Selena messaged you. Well, there it goes diplomacy completely out the window. Oh, <laughs> I kind of figured that. There's also the fact that like you know your scouting party might die. Um, oh, that's where I'm going to next is find my scouting party. She's like, hey, we're under attack. I'm like, oh, well, I'm on my um, way. So yes, yeah, so you go back to your scouting party, and they manage to deal with um, their two large spiders <laughs> and bless you. A bunch of little spider corpses laying on the ground near your scouting party. Some of your scouting party has um, fangs sticking in, um, fang marks in their arms, but they've treated and like cured all the poison because you have. Um, and they're all good and healed. And Selena and Crystal runs up to you and she's like, "You, what did you do? Back? Why would you attack? We were in the middle of talking with a bunch of spiders and we were talking and we were talking to them. Stop." As soon as you enter diplomacy, why didn't you let us know? As soon as before you shot something in the middle of their territory, why didn't you let us know? And she was glaring Because I checked all your locations. I knew you guys are all far away. I figured you'd be safe. You should have told me if you were in diplomacy. But you knew we wanted to do a diplomatic mission. Also, I... scouting parties don't attack. Not always. No, you observe. That's Not what scouts always. do. Not always. I thought we were going to try and do a diplomatic approach while we found out more information before we did the assault. That way we could have called off the assault. I gave you guys a 24-hour head start. I know I gave you guys a 36-hour head start. Even a day and a half after that. I waited a day to go in there. And I left 12 hours after they did. That was 36 hours. I wouldn't say 12. Eh, It was like 8 at least. Yeah. 30-hour head start. Yeah. I mean, we, but yeah, you, yeah, I had started to get here, but we had to get here, and then we had to find the spiders, and then I had to communicate with the animals. Well, too bad. Now we're doing combat. Oh, but I just talked to the spiders, and they said that we could have an end. We could have a talk with the king because he was. He was. Uh, Did you at least find out if it's the floor boss? I was going to, and I got to talk to the king, which they invited me to a meeting with but i'm sure now that we've shot them that they're why absolutely- wouldn't my scouts have told me hey we've made contact like the actual scouts who know what they're doing all of them look back and forth they're like like i, was, like, I turned to them like why didn't you guys I tell me I, well, I didn't know that they were actually talking spiders i thought that was just literally what i do i just slap them <laughs> oh i mean yeah okay yeah no that's fair but look I didn't. It's fair. I didn't know you could like talk to spiders and all that and do this just like not study other classes. No, I just I like bows and like woods and stuff and I like shooting. So the you animals. should know a little. I like shooting the animals. I don't it's talk the to them. Ranger Society. What they do you should, expect? There should be druids in we, the Ranger we, Society. There are a couple of those really weird guys who think they could talk to animals, but I'm sure they can't. So no, they can't. Also, they give you great shrooms. 
I mean, I, I've had some of the great shrooms. And, hey, when I'm on those shrooms, I can talk to animals, too. Um, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, no, I didn't think she was serious. And I'm, I didn't think it was actually a diplomacy mission. I was just scouting out. And we made detailed maps about the area and where we could invade in. Well, half your mission was a success. The other half, well, the girl's mission, failure. Scout's mission, It was success. only a failure because you went and botched everything. I didn't have time to message you because I was in the middle of a conversation. These things gotta flow naturally. You can't do two things at once? They gotta Aren't flow. Aren't you 30 years old? They gotta flow naturally. Well, I mean, she is a little older, but I mean, I was All doing right. a lot of the talking, but she's, she's also really good at diplomacy, so I, I cast a spell so that, that she could talk a, to them uh, too. Finance? You just go back. Well, we gotta go back anyway. The spiders are on high alert now, so be extra cautious going on forward. Uh, we'll meet with the cavalry tomorrow. Um, also, I need healing. <laughs> you don't deserve healing. That's a statement, all right. I I need... <laughs> How much of your health money did that do? Uh, you said 40 something, yeah. so well over half. <laughs> well over half. Of 77 health, you did 43 damage. Whew. Also, I sent I sent uh, Terra. Hey, by the way, it can throw boulders at us. <laughs> Idiots. No. All right. So basically, um, Luke, you and your scouting party are going to double back, maybe a couple miles out. Well, actually, I mean, you you tell me how far how far out do you want to go? Well, we we set up. We said we're meeting the scouting party there. So you're gonna meet the advancing party here. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's going to be nighttime soon. Just yeah. letting you know. So where you want to make camp? Do you want to do you want to make camp here? Do you want to meet them a little further out? Further out. We want to get away as far away from the woods as we can. Okay. So how how far out do you want to go? As far as we can get before it gets dark, or even even after the who has dark vision in our party? Uh, most all of them are elves. I feel like we've lost the element of surprise. A little bit. They don't. They just. They know an arrow came. They don't know we're all here. Although I'm sure they're gonna send out scouts. Let me guess. Their scouts aren't gonna attack. They're gonna count the numbers of people. Because that's what scouting parties do. Um. Yes. However, most scouting parties, if presented with an opportunity that could be beneficial, will take that opportunity. Like, if you say but you're a scouting guarantee. party, and all of a sudden you see the kings and, like, four or five guards, are you going to sit there or are you going to try to assassinate the but king? But the problem is you didn't know it was the king. It was a bad gamble, and you know it. No, oh, it was you, bad. You, you, there was, I mean, there was a chance it could have been something good. You never know. But you could have asked your uh, other party members. Yeah, I, I could have, but... Figured they would have let me know if something like that important happens. They also would have figured if you would have let them know if you were going to shoot something in the kingdom. The kingdom of spiders. All right, I'm going to interject. You make it about 10 miles out and you set up camp. Um, a little bit from where, 10 miles from where you were. It ends up being like a good 20 miles. Cool. Set up camp, set up watches. Yep, basically. Um, So you have all of your um, scouts on watch who are conversing with some of the members. Um, base Crystal is trying to comfort Selena as she is fuming, constantly messaging, and you get a message from Galahand. Oh my goodness. I don't mean to bother you, but, uh, yes, so I hear that there was a little bit of, um, miscommunication uh, issue. And, uh, Selena's a little upset. Oh, nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> um, can you give me a sit rep on, uh, status report on how everything else is going looking in the area, though? Actually pretty good. Um, all the spiders are pretty much heading back towards the center. So, we'll see what happens. Keep an eye out for that. All right, so um, so basically, um, you're you're sitting out and you are camped. You're you're entrenched, basically, waiting for the rest of your cavalry. And night befalls you. There is a lot more spider activity than there has been in previous. How far away from the main town? How far away from. You are hundreds of miles. Not hundreds, maybe like a hundred miles from the main town. You're a good distance. It's uh, like a two or three days days travel. Okay, I'm going to stay up all night. What? The, the spiders, at first it was just a trickle. Mm -hmm. And there was like a few. Again, like you've seen before, one or two coming in and out. Um, basically at a minute. Ground? From holes in the ground. Um, some were actually going on. Yeah, all, all of these would be. But then once one came in and crawled in and it looked at your party, basically, it, it just had its two hands. It, it, 
it crawled in, its two front legs popped up, and it kind of looked like it scanned around, mm -hmm. and it puts its hand down, and it ran back in the hole immediately. It didn't try and, like, walk into the forest or anything. And then fr since then, you've been noticing an increased amount of spider activity. All right, I'll wake up and talk about it. We're leaving. No, I wake up every day. What, we're what, leaving. What, what do you mean we're leaving? We're leaving. We just go. We made camp like an hour ago. We're leaving now. All right, where do you where do you want to go? Uh, further towards town, further away from the, away from the spider nest. Okay, how far do you want to travel? It'll be basically like how many miles can we cover in an hour? Hour? On horseback? Mm -hmm. Like a good 30, 40? But you're, oh, do you all you don't all have horses? Do I'm you? flying. I don't need a horse. Okay, you can probably cover a good um i'm not leaving that 20 miles then maybe like if they're running five how many horses how many we have three scouts two girls yeah how big are the girls girls are one of them is literally a small um the rest are medium the other one's a medium i'll have the medium girl hop on my elemental so she can play on that okay i'll carry the small girl with me okay that's taste on the three horses um, so yeah, you could maybe go, you can basically get 20 miles away. Which direction would you like? Towards the town, but anywhere specific? Like, I want to go towards, I don't want to go towards the town. Um, the town is basically south. Let's go straight south. Straight south. So straight south, another 20 straight miles. Straight south. Uh, we're going out of the forest, right? Out of the deep forest? You're, yes, you're going yes. towards the out of the deep forest. Okay, that's where we're I have us go hard for an hour, so the horses are hasted. Oh, actually, wait, no, this is a bad map. You would be going straight south would be towards the town. You want to go west, I'm sorry. Okay, straight west then. Okay. But I'm also, as we're flying, I'm messaging uh, Terra and telling, telling her why we left. Just don't feel comfortable. Uh, well, I think that was actually pretty reasonable. Um, I heard about the little accident that underwent. Well, she would have heard that earlier before. She, she did, but she didn't want to message anything. I think that they might be attempting to look for the culprit in who um, may have and or may not have shot an arrow their territory probably um let's however hope. actually i don't want to do this but i'm thinking i might do this what they're looking for me i'll let them find me while you guys go in wait wait, wait. So, explain this again <laughs> well they're obviously looking for the culprit right? right why don't we let them find the culprit and i leave them on a merry chase i mean you could perhaps do that See how many people we could. That would make the forces dwindle significantly, but then you have to think how many more can you kill in combat versus how many you would draw the attention of. Well, they obviously want me bad. If I could get a large size of their force away, I could probably hold my own against the regular medium sized ones. Especially if they can't catch me because I'm. I'm sure you could outrun them, but what I'm basically saying is how many in combat do you think you could kill? Versus how many you think you would actually end up facing you. I mean, if I go back to closer to their nest and kind of say, hey, I am, come get me. I'm sure they're going to send up quite a few after me. That's possible. I mean, that's completely up to you as long as you think you'll be safe. I'll think about it. Let me, get the, let me make sure my party party's safe. Okay. Set up camp. Um, another 20 miles out. So you're about 40 miles away from the nest now. Um, and you're actually um, basically out of the dark deep fort are really close to them honestly kept riding hour still mm -hmm. you could meet up with the rest of party and then you get days travel back to the night yeah, we'll stay here okay um i'll, I'll, I'll they can go back to sleep and I'll, i'm still staying. i'll take a little exhaustion out here well my character would be used to doing stuff like this okay so you set up everyone makes camp for the night and you thing one month and for the most part, nothing else happened. You actually don't even see any spiders this week. Good. Okay. The next day happens. And... Emily, you meet up with Luke's scouting party. Have I heard? Oh, you've heard. It has been the talk of the raid for the past 24 hours. How the lieutenant went in by himself, one-man army, dove straight into the center of the pit and shot the king of the spiders. See, my character would think like, or her, her thoughts about this are in regards to the situation is that, wow, he's really selfish. He wanted the whole loot for himself. I, I, I said that basically the talk of the raid is how um, the lieutenant 
dove in as a one-man army and flew into the center during his scouting raid and ended up shooting the um, king of the spiders <laughs> with an arrow. Yeah, like, and so my character was just, was just saying, yeah, no, he sounds really selfish. Like he wanted the whole thing to himself. I don't know if I trust him. It was, I mean, my character's point of view was if I can kill this little thing and basically skip the fight, that saves a lot more lives. Did the character save us? Yes, potentially okay. it could have saved a lot more lives. A couple of people go, uh... Had that little spider been controlling the rest of them and it died right there, boss over, I could have potentially saved up to 24 lives. However, didn't. Might be a little harder now. That's my fault. It was a gamble I was willing to take. While I agree that there was some pretty decent logic that that tiny spider, not the big one, could have been controlling all of them. And if we just killed that, it would have made things a lot easier. Now they might be fortified. True. Which means we might need to... It might have just been best to relay the, inform relay the information that there is a little spider on top of the thing's head, so when went into it... I made a judgment table. call. It might not have been a good one, but I made a call. We'll see how it goes. It was an absolutely terrible call. I was talking to them, and they invited me to That's have also an entrance your with the king. You didn't let anyone know as soon as you made contact. That was, should have been your first thing. I just made contact, and as soon as I do, they all get harumphy. Terrible. I mean, the spider was pretty comfortable on top of that head when I was there. Yeah, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was, too. Look, we just talked to them. We didn't have time to message you. I was in the middle. I was going to message you. Yeah. You have four people in your party. One of them could have messaged Hey, might not be uh, real or not. A lieutenant? Like, yes. Um... Just, just for future, maybe we need to gather more information. Nachia, stop playing with that ball. For future, maybe we should just gather more information. <laughs> Take the ball away from her. Nachia is a king. It is not a her. Nachia has lost his ball. He is no longer squeaking it in the middle of the raid conversation. <laughs> um, for future, let's just gather as much information before we attack without the rest of the group. Since we all... I gave you my logic. What's done is done. We we'll go from we there. We understand. However, next time I will be more cautious. We don't want to lose you, so, sir. What was your decision on the whole um, wild goose hunt idea? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that. I mean, if I could get two people to come with me, one person maybe. So I just basically need someone who can just make sure I stay alive. <laughs> they don't have to be in combat. They just need to make sure be far enough where at checkpoints I can check up with them four to five position. They heal me back to full and they take off. Why hold a position? I mean, maybe... Head run tactics. Just depends on Go how away. many there are, but we could always just do the guerrilla tactic, yeah. Everyone could. We could draw out parties, we could draw them out. I don't think... We could do that, but that wouldn't work well with the Cavalier. Especially in the forest, because once they get in there, they're going to have to go straight in. Yeah, charge We could draw a few out and then have the... call. Well, yeah. what if we draw them straight into the Cavaliers? And just Cavaliers charge straight through them. We could also fortify our own positions. Set up trenches, dig pits, all that kind of stuff. They're spiders. They can crawl through those. <laughs> what about fire runes? We could do a fire... Like, I, I look, Priscilla. We have fireballs. Can you draw runes? Celia's not here. Dang it. She's working on your... Oh, wait, no, no, you do. Oh, by the way, Luke. You notice, adorned on Snow's shoulders, it is a majestic and it is like going over her mail and down her arms is a majestic bear coating of armor and she looks rather fortuitous i look fortuitous what does it give me again i look at you i look at my shining mithril armor and go Meh. <laughs> what was it? it gives you a plus four to ac and a plus four to constitution uh sounds four? nice four four through the mod it's growing in temporary bonuses and wait for 24 hours um we Come might on. need to change tactics instead of straight again right now that's a sick did she do fire runes like trap like skyrim fire runes oh yeah Same. fire scrolls and... all right i think that's what we should do mix of guerrilla warfare and leading them straight into a trap probably their best bet because they're on guard now Ooh, i love traps Tara, what do you think I think that wouldn't be a bad idea, but the issue is, is uh, from what I've heard, the wizard that you're talking about back in Varya. Be another two days to get her out here. That gives us time to fortify, dig traps, 
revenge ourselves, maybe clear some of these trees or clear paths away for we sweeping parties. We didn't come with axes and shovels. We came with swords and shields. True. Hmm. That's completely. We don't have any view. wizards here. Oh wow. We came with paladins, fight paladins, clerics. What kind of party doesn't have at least one wizard? <laughs> one wizard's back in town. I'm a bard. I can't do those kinds of spells, but uh, I can get her here pretty quick. Him, Celia, Nachia needs you. <laughs> <laughs> DM starts rolling. Fireball. That's all she has. Can she write scrolls though? Yes. Yeah, she can write scrolls. She can craft wonders item. Craft scrolls. Oh yeah, she's the enchantress. Yes. Yeah, she, she is the enchantress of your group. Um, I'm trying to see if I had her spell list. Remember that thing that you said you never wrote out? No, I wrote it out. I had it on a big note card like that, and I can't remember where it is. I'm trying to see um what the chances are that she has a spell that can get her to you quicker. What level is she? The level five wizard. I thought she was level six. They were level sixes. That's what I haven't written down as. No. She I don't think she really? has. I don't think she has teleport. She might not fly. When she's level six. She's level five. Tiffany's level six. <laughs> she messages you back and says, "No, he's not. He's fine. No, he's right there with you." And you look. And you look down, she's like, he's sitting, he's upright, he's rather prompt. Are you divin- she's divinationing. She's a divination wizard! She just cast scrying on him <laughs> and saw that he was perfectly fine. No, 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 you don't understand. I have her written down as a level 6 wizard, by the way. She's, she, she's never level 6, she's level 5. Gosh, no, we need you, we, we, we need you, but Nichia needs you as well so he doesn't die. Why is he- why is he in danger? What have you done? What is Lieutenant done is more like long. I need lines. fireball scrolls, a lot of them. Or runes, preferably. Let me see what I can do. If you if you need me time to make the materials, then I'm going to be a day delayed, and then it's going to be a day and a half journey just to get to you. Wait, oh my send, goodness. I can fly there and fly back faster. <laughs> can't she send things through like messages and can't email? You, can't trade things? You can't trade in the lives or distance, can you? Remember wait, what about that Christmas episode? What's her face? She sent him the box and it had a present in it. You can send messages. They sh and have attached items to them. Just make them and attach them and send them to us. Dot, dot, dot. It's going to take me a day to make the runes. That's All the scrolls. Fine. fine. Take the day. Okay. So you've got 24 Ooh, hours. Did level up from making that bear pelt? Hmm? She. Okay. Remember. Tiffany was the person who trained Wilson. Those two did a lot of combat. They're 86. Tiffany? No. They were both fives. When I wrote them out, they were a level five fighter and wizard, and they met up with you when you were a level two. Tiffany leveled up. Seal. Tell me about it. They were level six. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. You have 24 hours. What do you want to do? Um. All right, so here's what, I'll, here's what I'm thinking. If we're going to do the runes and the traps idea, we're going to find a good spot for the cavalry to charge. I need to go in and find... Points, point A, point B, point C, whatever, leading back to the cavalry where I can have healers stationed. Okay. I can come back, kind of fortify myself, shoot a couple spiders, and then run to the next step. Plot. Do I need okay. a couple scouts to help me do that? All right. How close are you aiming to get? Honestly? Yeah. I was thinking about walking trip to the weapon plane. I'm right here. Can we talk? And then just zooming out. Well, or making, like, you know what I did before? Kind of just shot an arrow away and like, make the explosion go off? Okay. Something kind of like that. Okay. But with, like, two or three fireballs. So, he's discussing tactics with, um... Tara. Ter Aaron. 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 Um, Tara is so much easier for a female name. No, Tara is not really even a name. It's not even a real name. Tara means Earth, and Tara was a... There's Earth even two Titans. Yes. She's also an Earth Yes. She? Anyway, what? it's your campaign. I apologize. Taryn, you're talking with Taryn, Galahan, and a bunch of other scouts and various paladins. Alina walks up to you. I'm going to give it one more shot. The diplomacy mission. We might be able to make peace ties with them. I intimidate. I took intimidate I as know, my focus. But I'm just saying, like, Lieutenant's been running things around here, and while I'm sure he's really good in combat and everything, maybe because I, I, I thought you were a bard. 
I just get. I yeah, soldiers don't do diplomacy, by the way. I know. Not this one. I'm a fighter. Generals do. Lieutenants one... don't. <laughs> I'm a fighter with one level in bard. Oh, come on, Snow. We've known each other for how long? You're really good at words and bringing people together. We've known each other for how long? It's, it's been, been a couple like... of weeks. It's been like a week. It's been a couple of weeks. It's been a week. Anyways, besides the point. Yeah, I mean, I would really like it if we could maybe try one. And Snow, listen, you're really, really- Wait, who's talking? Was that Crystal versus- They're both going back and forth. Wait. Was, you said Celia came, Selena came up to me. Was yeah, talking. and then Crystal run, ran up to. Yeah, I've known Crystal for a couple of weeks. I haven't known Selena very long. That's because Crystal said. I'm so confused. Female voices. I'm... Anyways, so, yeah, no, I was hoping that maybe we could try the diplomacy one more time. And Snow, listen, you're really, 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 really good at bringing people together. And Crystal's just there tugging on your leg. And every time she says really, I'm she gives you another tug Eddie on your man. leg. Uh really want me to talk to spiders? Do I see them over there doing this? You see three girls. Um, two of them are talking to No over there. You do recognize the others. Are... I'll walk over. What's all this about? They both look at you. I don't know. Is it anything, Snow? <laughs> I don't know what this, this relationship is. <laughs> and you see these two little... Well, one is like... A four foot eight girl, the other one's the little halfling, and they're just holding hands and they're batting their eyes at snow. Oh no. Oh no. What is what did you roll? A will save. Okay, what for pity. Uh, uh, uh -huh. And I crit failed. Because of like your daughters. Yep. So I'll get down right in front of their faces. I'm sorry. Okay, how about this? You have 36 hours to your diplomacy mission. Yay! And both of them lunge up and hug you and wrap around your neck. And I'll just stand up with Does them Does he still. blush? With... Ooh, I perception check. Does his character blush at all? Ooh, it's an 18. Roll a will save. Boop. Or just to Constitu blush? Constitution. Constitution yeah. to blush. I guess. It. Yeah. Keep it in. Yeah. It's fortuitous. You're fine. Yeah. I just kind of, okay, yeah, there, there, there. And I'll just stand up with him still holding my neck. Okay. They, they both drop down. Crystal kind of has to climb down, but she does it very nimbly. All right. Fine. All right. Are you coming with us? I'll, yeah, I'll I think go. it would be really fun. Wait. Where's Clyde? And take Galahad with too. other females. Take he... Galahad. 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 Yes. Why? Why? How can I help you? You're going with the girls to the diplomacy mission. Wonderful. I'm always good on diplomacy. I message Clyde. Clyde. Yeah. What do you need, sweet cheeks? I'm over here. Over where? Where I'm at. Where are you? If you can't find me, then clearly you need to work on that. You need to have your snow senses on. Also, I summon my elemental. He's in charge. Follow her. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay. So you now have a party of Clyde Gallahan. He, he does make your way over there. Okay. Hey, how's it going? There is just a oh. lot of people around. Would my elemental have leveled up yet? Oh my gosh, no, Nachia leveled. With you. I forgot to level Nachia. Oh, oh my god! But, no, he didn't. You're level four. I'm level five. You're level five? I'm level five. You're level five. He leveled up. Hold on. This is a celebratory moment. Do it after the end of the episode. I know. I just gotta make sure. I just. I don't want him. How long are we into it? 145. So actually, That's an hour we're minutes. going to 145, 145 hours. Um, we're going to end with you all going on a diplomacy mission before the raid, which mm -hmm. will give you a little bit more time to strategize with oh, we Taren. We forgot what we're doing. We just gotta get extra And up. you to gather yourself, Galahand, Clyde, Crystal, and Selena as you are heading off to talk with the spiders. It's a you celebration. Dusty. All right. All right, guys, we will see you soon. All right, see you next time, guys. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoy our content. See you next time. Bye.